maybe people haven't heard of her. Um, who is Joyce Myers, Lauren? So Joyce Myers is a woman preacher. Um, she is a word of faith preacher. So she's she also believes in um, the tongues. She's, she speaks in tongues. She's full on. There's, there's not a lot of um, teaching that the word of faith does that she hasn't picked up. So it, she started out a, a long time ago. I mean, she's, she's in her 70s now. Um, you can't tell because of the plastic surgery. But a long time ago, she started out as just a women's Bible teacher. So she would have like meetings and... Eventually, that turned into her traveling for it, and now she will preach on Sunday mornings. She's preached at Joel Osteen's church on Sunday mornings, and she's she's got no qualms about that. She defends that by saying that the people that they're talking about in Second Timothy are different than what she's doing. So she is a she considers herself a woman pa- uh, pastor. Of course, she also believes that she is um, a prophetess that she's hearing from God. So yeah, that's that's her in a summation. Now, um, obviously, she's a multimillionaire with multiple mansions and um, the FBI, you know, investigating her to boot. So she's, she's got a lot going on, you know, she's a busy lady, um, but she's, she's not too busy to write this nonsense that we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, so, she was also my favorite teacher, by the way, before I got saved. She really? Was my favorite. Yes. I, I mean, I, and we were talking about this before the show, this feels very, uh, for anyone who still remembers Tony Robbins, uh, that th- those 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 people that that uh, corporations bring in to mm-hmm. to you know pick up the pace for the the sales department, and you can be better, and you're you're either scum or you're the best, and yep. they, they'll they'll drive you drive you up, um, yes. and and this feels like that, but mm-hmm. I I feel like she's just if if she was if she was the you're all sinners. Uh, you, you suck. Uh, do better. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I would I wouldn't be bounced around as much, but I felt mm-hmm. very bounced around in uh, almost like it was a battlefield in my mind of her <laughs> points. So. Oh, my gosh. Mind blown. That's so <laughs> true. That is actually accurate because there are two constantly two conflicting ideas in this book where she is actually speaking from both sides of her mouth about these issues. And and it's amazing to me looking back that there is a lot of guilt like we, you can't show it. And you can't behave like that because in the word of faith, you have to look like you're constantly happy and joyful. Even if you're dying of cancer, it doesn't matter. You have to look like you're full of faith, but there's a ton of guilt in that, in that group. Like you just constantly feel like you're guilty and then you feel guilty for feeling guilty because you're not supposed to feel condemned in it. Yeah. And, and that this book really displays why, because there's, there's constantly two things that you're being told. So no matter what you do, you're going to fail. <laughs> And I, I feel like her funny stories about her a, a failing as a wife, as a mother, as a teacher, it's always in the past. It's always mm-hmm. uh, pre- pretty quickly after she claims to to uh, be saved or uh, it, it's it's somewhere in the remote past. She's she's not she's never like and I'm still working on that. The, right. Um, it's, it's not a lack of humility, but there's no um, th- th- there's no encouragement to to the women of of or of, of people it's not even women right. that she's talking to um yeah the, the people you, she's talking to you have to yeah you have to understand that joyce myers is a um sinless perfectionist she does believe that she is now without sin she preaches that uh, not very often because it's not popular but she does preach that she has no longer um sinned because once she got it into her head that she's not a sinner anymore, she stopped sinning. So that's why she's not going to, she's not going to mention anything that's been recent. So she, she's teaching that, that you can also stop sinning and that you should be no longer sinning. Gotcha. So it's, it's, it's like turning off the bath. You, you turn yeah. off the faucet, there's still some, some water coming out and then drip, <laughs> drip, drips, and then, then it's done. Yeah. There you go. Okay. As soon as she got it into her mind. So her thoughts, as soon as she thought that she wasn't a sinner, she made it happen. So that's where that Would you say that she's in. using her reasoning there? Because I'm pretty sure uh, Joyce Myers <laughs> later says reason not to reason. Because reasoning's bad. Reasoning is bad. She does. It sounds like reasoning throughout half the book. So I'm not really sure how that works. But. Yeah. I, uh, if, if we don't get to anything else, th- those quotes are, are I, 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 I paused where I was at. And I was like, wife, as I, as I call my wife, wife, come listen to this and, <laughs> and revel in the pain that Lauren 
has has made me suffer in uh, <laughs> because uh, uh, weep with those who weep, and laugh mm, with those yes. who laugh, and so that's right. I, I was weeping and laughing at the same time. Uh, maybe not in the proper context, but who cares about context with this book? I'm, I'm, I'm reading to, this yeah. book. 